Have you ever pondered about the role of movement and sports as a form of medicine? Welcome to a fresh perspective where we dive headfirst into the fascinating world of physical activity and its profound impact on our health. Movement, in its simplest form, is a powerful medicine. It's a dynamic elixir that fuels our bodies, revitalizes our minds, and fortifies our spirits. It's not a privilege reserved for the elite athletes but a universal remedy accessible to all, irrespective of age, fitness level, or talent. Now, let's debunk a common myth. Many perceive sports and physical activity as a towering mountain, with athletes reigning at the peak, leaving the rest of us daunted at the base, intimidated by the steep climb. This perception, however, couldn't be further from the truth. Movement is not a mountain. Rather, it's an exciting journey, a thrilling adventure that begins with the first step. It's about embracing the rhythm of your body, listening to its symphony and dancing to its tune. It's about celebrating the joy of motion, the exhilaration of exertion, and the triumph of endurance. The power of movement transcends beyond the realm of physical well-being. It seeps into our mental and emotional health, bolstering self-esteem, alleviating stress and enhancing mood. It's a holistic therapy that harmonizes the mind, body, and soul. Remember, every step counts, every move matters. You don't have to run a marathon or scale a rock wall to reap the benefits of physical activity. Walking is as beneficial as jogging, and sometimes even more so. The key is consistency, persistence, and a genuine love for movement. Scott Douglas, a renowned author and runner, once said, If you run, you are a runner. There are no prerequisites, no minimum miles per week or speed per mile, no specific motivations or goals to be considered a real runner. So let's change the narrative. Let's redefine what it means to be active. Let's embrace movement as a lifestyle, not a chore. After all, the journey of movement starts with a single step. So, are you ready to make that leap? Are you ready to experience the power of movement as medicine? Is sitting really the new smoking? You may have heard this phrase tossed around, but what does the science say? Well. It's not just a catchy slogan. Multiple research studies support the idea that excessive sitting is indeed detrimental to our health. Consider this. The World Health Organization lists physical inactivity as the fourth leading risk factor for global mortality. That's right, inactivity is killing us. And sitting for prolonged periods is a significant part of this inactivity. But how does this work? When we sit for long periods, our body is in a state of rest. Our muscles are not contracting and our metabolism slows down. This can lead to an increase in blood sugar levels and a decrease in the good cholesterol that helps remove fat from the bloodstream. Over time, this can contribute to the development of heart disease and diabetes. Inactivity is also associated with certain types of cancer. A study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute found that sitting for extended periods could increase the risk of colon, endometrial, and lung cancer. Moreover, a sedentary lifestyle can contribute to mental health issues. Lack of physical activity is linked to depression and anxiety, further emphasizing the importance of regular movement for our overall well-being. So to answer our initial question, is sitting really the new smoking? The science seems to say yes. Inactivity indeed is a silent contributor to chronic health problems. How does movement combat chronic conditions? Well, let's dive into the hard facts. Research published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine has shed light on this very question. The findings are clear. Inactivity presents a significant risk for chronic diseases. This risk isn't selective either. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, inactivity can strike anyone at any age. But it's not all doom and gloom. The same research also highlights the power of an active lifestyle. Regular physical activity, be it walking, jogging, or cycling, can provide a protective shield against various health issues. It can help prevent heart disease, diabetes, and even some types of cancer. So, the science supports it. Movement is a form of medicine, a potent one at that. It's the antidote to the poison of a sedentary life. An active lifestyle is not just a choice, it's a shield against chronic ailments. Is there more to sports and movement than just physical health? Indeed, there is. Regular physical activity holds a treasure trove of psychological benefits, and these are not just anecdotal claims. Science backs this up. Studies published in the Journal of Clinical Psychology have revealed that consistent movement can significantly reduce symptoms of depression. It's like a mental health workout, replacing feelings of anxiety and sadness with a surge of endorphins, often referred to as the feel-good hormones. It's not just about building muscle or burning calories. It's about cultivating a healthier, happier mind. It's about resilience, self-esteem, and mental strength. 
It's about the joy of overcoming challenges, the thrill of personal achievement, and the sense of camaraderie that comes from being part of a team or a community. So remember, every step you take, every move you make, is not just for the body. Movement is a potent remedy for both the body and the mind. Is walking really as beneficial as jogging, you may wonder? Science says, yes. Numerous studies have shown that walking provides similar health benefits to jogging. What's more, walking is easier on the joints, making it a more sustainable option for many people, especially as we age. Walking can help maintain a healthy weight, prevent or manage various conditions, including heart disease and high blood pressure, and improve your mood. Plus, it's a natural fit in our busy lives, whether it's a brisk walk in a park or a leisurely stroll around the neighborhood. Moreover, walking has a higher compliance rate in the long run. It's simple, doesn't require any special equipment or training, and can be done at any time of day, making it more likely for people to stick with it. So, don't underestimate the power of a good walk. Walking, it seems, is not just a stroll in the park but a path to robust health. Are you ready to take that first step towards a healthier tomorrow? Remember, it doesn't matter how small the step might seem. Every journey, every adventure, begins with a single step. It's about participation, about moving, regardless of the speed or distance. Don't let the mountain of athleticism intimidate you. Instead see it as a thrilling journey waiting to be embarked upon. So, what are you waiting for? Embark on your journey of movement today and lay the foundation for a healthier tomorrow.